This account made over $30,000 with one simple video through the TikTok Shop affiliate program. What the fuck? But as you can see, their videos are getting less views each post. They're getting stuck at a few thousand views again and again and again. There must be a better way. So I sat down, determined to make the perfect TikTok Shop affiliate video. And I did. At the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to make your first TikTok automation video no matter your niche, experience, or the amount of money you have. And all you need is this one viral recipe. And no, this is not a bulk create 100 videos in one minute with AI kind of tutorial. TikTok doesn't push repetitive content, and posting hundreds of mass-produced videos is repetitive as shit. So to make a viral video, you gotta put in the work. This is a video that got 8 million plus views, and this is the strategy used to make those videos. Basically, some of the common traits I saw in viral TikTok shop videos. The script, voiceover, images, editing. Now, this has generated tons of views and money, but it doesn't work as well as it used to, so we need a new strategy. I spent hours researching all of the most viral videos on the internet to come up with this single viral recipe. Before we get to work though, you're probably wondering what type of video we're doing. You might have seen these AI avatars that are literally going absolutely viral right now. But not only on TikTok, YouTube as well. Not to brag or anything, but I've seen some pretty good results with this myself. So basically, we're going to use an AI avatar to create an improved version of the video I showed you in the beginning. Let me show you a preview. These are the three dangerous side effects of oil pulling every day. After the first time you take it, you would notice your gums starting to- But wait, isn't TikTok shop only available in a few countries? Will I even be able to do this? Should I just give up? Fuck this shit. Hey man, feeling stuck? Yeah, I was just about to start my new TikTok account and- I know, don't be too harsh on yourself, brother. I have a solution. Wait, how did you know that- A couple of months ago, I was in your shoes. Angry, lost, confused. Then I found this website. What do you mean? What website? Hey, don't interrupt. Let me show you. I don't really know who you are, but thank you. Here it is. It's a website where you can buy US TikTok accounts eligible for TikTok shop. I don't understand. How did you find this? Stop asking questions. Just go get yourself an account and continue your journey. Good luck, Leo. Okay, guess I'll do so. I really needed that. Right, now that we have our account ready, let's go to work. We're gonna be using a website called Calo Data, where you can find viral products and see how much people are making with TikTok Shop. What you wanna do is click on this button right here that says product. To make things easy, I'll go with the top one right here. It's the same one the account I showed you in the beginning promoted. This product has generated almost $4 million in the last 30 days, which is crazy. By the way, if you're interested in getting updated about new viral products like this one, you should check out my free Discord community. We are currently 12,000 members plus, so why not check it out. It's literally free information, right? Anyways, we got our product. Now it's time to create the video. When creating the script, you want to aim for something that will make the viewer stay for as long as possible, giving the video a high retention. I used to make my scripts short and sweet because I thought that it would be easier to get a high retention rate, but that's not always the case. Even if you have a short video with high retention, TikTok is still more likely to push a longer video with a lower retention. And to be honest, I really don't know why this is, but it probably has to do with that it keeps the viewer longer on the platform. If retention was their main metric, people would just post one second long videos and get a thousand percent retention, which is just not how it works. Where I want to get with this is make longer scripts that are at least this long. But a long script isn't going to make your video go viral, most importantly. You need a strong and engaging hook, something that makes the viewer stop scrolling. For example, now, it's important that we write it in the first person, since it will be read out by our avatar. So let's start with the hook. I recommend you do this part yourself. Just open up a Google Doc and come up with something creative like this. It's pretty catchy. Other than that, writing a script is annoying as fuck. So I'll just ask ChatGPT to give me some information I can use in the script. Enter a prompt that looks something like this. Generate it and look for information you can use in your video. Copy the best parts and paste it into the Google Doc. Then rewrite the paragraphs a little until you have a script you like. This is probably the the part of the video that'll take the most amount of time, and for good reason. A good topic and script with bad editing can still go viral, but a bad topic and a boring ass script with godlike editing will not get any views at all. I know this since I've been there, so don't make the same mistakes I did. 
There are tons of text-to-speech softwares you can use, but I like to use Eleven Labs. Literally, all you gotta do is pick a voice you like or clone a voice. Then paste your script to generate a voiceover, and it should sound good, like this. Three horrifying side effects of oil pulling every day. It sounds good, but it's way too slow. We need to make it better. Head over to any editing software. I'll use CapCut. Import the voiceover and drag it to the timeline. Use the razor tool to cut out all the pauses and overlap the clips slightly. Listen to it to see if it sounds good or not and repeat this process throughout the entire clip. This will increase the pace and make the video more engaging. It should sound something like this. Three horrifying side effects of oil pulling every day. The first time I was oil pulling, I noticed that I started bleeding in my mouth. For this part, you can really use any image generator you want. Midjourney is my favorite. You can also use Leonardo.ai if you want to create images that are a little bit more controversial, if you want to call them that. I'll link both tools in the description. What you want to do is enter this exact prompt followed by the image you want. Since we're promoting a tooth cleaning kit, we're looking to create an avatar with white and fresh teeth. I'll go with something like this. Generate it a couple of times until you get one you like. I think this one looks cool, so I'll just upscale it and download it. Now, you can also be creative and make a character that has disgusting teeth as well, as that works as a hook, but that's for another video. Anyways, as you saw in the video I showed you earlier, the avatar was talking. To do this, you want to head over to this website. It's called DID. Click on Create Video and then upload the character you've created. Upload the voiceover and click on Generate Video. You should end up with something like this. Three horrifying side effects of oil pulling every day. The first time I was oil pulling, I noticed that I started bleeding in my mouth. This to make the video even more engaging, we're going to create some image overlays that will pop up throughout the video. So let's head back over to Midjourney real quick. We want to create images that match the words in our script. So let's take a look at your script and prompt a fitting image. Type forward slash imagine and enter this prompt. It will make the images look like the ones in the video I showed you in the beginning. Then type in what you want your image to look like and the aspect ratio you want it to be. Since we're making a TikTok, we want it to be 916. To get that, you want to type in this at the end of the prompt. Then just press generate a couple of times until you get the one you like. When you have your image ready, again, upscale it and download it. Then you just want to repeat this process a couple times until you have about five to 10 images. I'd also recommend you download a couple of images of the product you're selling. Ah, uh, the editing. I'll do this part in CapCut since it's free and has all the features we need, but you can really do this in any editing software. So you want to create a new project and import all of the footage, including the DID video and the image overlays. Drag the DID video to the timeline and adjust the size so that the logo isn't visible. Then you want to add the image overlays one by one so that they match the voiceover. And of course, don't forget to resize them so that they fit the screen. The video looks pretty good as is, but you can make it even better by adding some animations to the overlays. So click on the image and then animate. I always use combo animations. And as you can see, CapCut has tons of them. So apply any of those and repeat this process on all the images. Now, I bet you can't find a viral video without captions. It's the simplest trick yet increases retention so much. And the best part, it's easy as shit to do. Click on text and then on auto captions. Make sure to fill in the right language. Then click generate. Read them through a couple of times and correct any spelling mistakes if there are any. You can even make them better by adding some animations. Head over to the right and click on templates. It can also say presets, then choose one you like. We want to keep a high retention, so I'd recommend you go with something high pace like this one. So just click on it and it'll be added to the captions automatically. Bonus tip is to stick with the same caption animation on all of your videos to brand your account. That way, the viewer will automatically know that it's your account after they've followed you for a while. Hey man, how's it going for you? Great, thanks for the tips earlier. No problem, but hey, your video looks great, Leo, but there is one thing you're missing. Uh, what is it? Your sound design sucks. Sure, you have a great voiceover, but what about sound effects and music? Yeah, now that you say it, but how do I do that? That's a journey you gotta figure out yourself, Leo. Remember, great results come from great effort. 
Shit, guess I'll have to figure this out myself. Now the last part of creating the perfect viral video, sound design. Pretty much the best virality hack of them all. I found out the hard way, but finding all of these sound effects one by one can be a real pain in the ass. So to make things easy for you, I put together this Google Drive folder with all of the most viral sound effects. Just click the link in the description to get it for basically free. Then you just want to upload the ones that fit your content to CapCut and add them to the timeline like this. There's really no way to add sound effects to boost virality, so just put them wherever they fit. And once you've added those, it's time for music. Choose a viral song. I've seen that this song has been doing well lately, so I'll just download it and add it to the video. Most important is just make sure you adjust the volume so it's not too loud. Now, finally, we can export the video. Let's take a look at it. Three horrifying side effects of oil pulling every day. The first time I was oil pulling, I noticed that I started bleeding in my mouth. This is because the oil cleaned areas of my mouth. My toothbrush couldn't reach. They're so wild. Looks goddamn amazing. Considering you've watched this entire video, I assume you're serious about doing something with your life. If you didn't listen earlier, I have a free community with people like you. There's over 12,000 members all helping each other out. It's the best way to get started. So join it and get all the free knowledge I put in there. It's in the description. See ya.